Hi everyone, welcome to Hindsight. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use PowerPoint to create video collage. And as you can see on my screen, I'm going to be starting from where I stopped in my previous video. The link to that video is going to pop up at the right hand top of the screen. And I'm going to show you how to create an intro for your video using motion background. I'm going to be starting off with a blank slide in PowerPoint. So currently I'm on pixabay.com. I'm going to download a free uncopyrighted motion background for the purposes of this video. And so when that is done downloading, I'm just going to go back to PowerPoint and, and click on insert, click on video and insert the motion background into the slide. So now I'm just adjusting the motion background to fit the slide. The next thing I'm going to do is click on the motion background and go to animations and click on play. I'm also going to right click on start after previous so that the motion starts automatically. Next, I'm going to go to my previous slide from my previous video and copy the images and paste them onto the new slide. I'm going to remove all the effects from the previous slide and add new animation effects to them. I'm going to first of all format the images, go to format, click on picture effects, click on soft edges, just to adjust the edges of the images to make them smoother than they currently are. Please follow the steps that I go through. So now that I'm done adjusting the edges of both images, I'm going to go back and also include a glow effect to the images. And then just adjust the settings. So next, I'm going to go ahead and add animation effect to the first image. So I'm going to click on it, go to animation, click on an entrance effect, right click on start with previous so that the image appears whilst the motion background is playing. And then I'm also going to add an extra emphasis effect, click on start with previous. Next, I'm going to add animation to the second image. So I'm going to go to add animation. Click on start with previous and I'm going to adjust the timing so that it appears right after. I'm going to go back and add more emphasis effects. So now I'm going to show you what we've done so far. Next, I'm going to go to the previous slide and highlight some of the images that I used. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm also going to use the same effects from that slide. So I'm not going to delete anything or start from scratch. To know how I created this effect, please go to the link that pops up at the right hand top of the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and add exit effects to both images so that they disappear right after. And I'm also going to do the same for the motion background. I'm going to adjust the exit effect for the motion background so that it is the last thing or last effect that disappears from the slide. So now that the slide is done, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the first slide. And if you care to include a sound effect, just go to insert click on audio and insert the sound of your choice. However, I'm not going to do that in this video. The link to the video for that is going to pop at the right hand top of the screen. 
I'm just going to go ahead and save this file as an mp4 and at the end of the video I'm going to show you what we did. So moving on to the first video collage, currently I have inserted three videos of mine. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this. So I click on insert, go to video and add a video. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the size and reduce the volume. So that's pretty much what I did for the other videos. So next thing I'm going to do is highlight all the videos at the same time and add animation. I'm going to make sure that all the videos play at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the times at which each video starts. And once that is done, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to highlight the videos again, go back to add animation and add an exit effect so that the videos disappear. I'm going to go back and adjust, click on start with previous and I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the times at which each video disappears. This is pretty quick and straightforward. And now I'm going to show you what we've done so far. As you can see, each video plays simultaneously but starts at different times and each video disappears at different times as well. So if you'd like, you can also add a sound effect to your video. But I'm just going to go ahead and save this file as an mp4 and show you the effect afterwards towards the end of the video. Next thing I'm going to do is remove all the effects and adjust the videos. What I want to do is make sure that each video plays simply after the other. So what I'm going to do next is add an entrance effect to the video and then add a play effect as well. And I'm going to click on start with previous. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and add an exit effect and click on start after previous so that the video disappears after playing for a while. I'm going to send the image to the back and I'm going to do pretty much the same for all of the videos. Please watch carefully what I do. I'm going to repeat the same steps. But I'm going to move the effect of this video right before the previous one so that it appears right before that video. And now for the final video, I'm going to repeat the same steps as well. And then I'm going to show you what we've done so far. As you can see, each video starts after the other, but I'm just going to go ahead and trim each video so you can really see the effect. Starting with the first video, click on it, go to playback, trim video, I'm going to trim it down. And I'm going to repeat the same thing for each of the videos.
So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to show you what we've done. So now you can see, unlike the previous time, you can really see that each video starts subsequently after the other. And like I said, you can always insert the sound effect to your videos if you wish, but I'm going to go ahead and save this file as an mp4. And afterwards, I'm just going to remove um, two, of the, two of the videos, and I'm going to quickly show you how to insert a video into another video. I'm just going to go to animations and click on play for the main video. I'm going to click on start after previous for an automatic start and then I'm going to click on the video that I wish to insert and I'm going to click on appear. I'm going to click on start with previous and I'm just going back in and adding more emphasis effect and I'm going to add lastly an exit effect. Now I'm going to show you that you can also change the shape of the video and add other effects such as shadow, glow. However, for this video, I'm just going to show you what we've done so far. All I'm going to do now is just going to save the files in MP4. Now I'm going to show you each of the videos we created in this here, starting with the motion background and then we're going to move on to the first video collage the second video collage you can see how each of the videos starts subsequently unlike the previous video collage and lastly the video wherein I show you how to insert a video into another video. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and if you did, consider liking, sharing and commenting. Also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for future uploads and I will see you in my next video.